For countless years, people have used silver and gold as their primary currency. And over those years, some of it was lost, stashed, or otherwise taken and hidden from history. These are the stories of America's buried treasures in your neck of the woods. Today's treasure tale takes us to Smith County, Virginia, for the story of a man's deathbed confession of buried treasure. From 1861 to 1865, America fought its civil war. During that time, hundreds if not thousands of treasure caches were buried, with many of them never being recovered for whatever reason. From small personal caches, plantation and business owners' wealth, and even Army's payrolls have all been stashed and lost to time. One story tells of a plantation owner in Smith County, Virginia, named Abraham Smith. Early in the war, Smith and his sons gathered the family's financial wealth, later described as $46,000 in gold and silver coins, along with $12,000 in jewelry and some gold watches. They hid the loot under the roadway nearby. Smith's thought was his treasure would be hidden right under their feet the whole time. Smith's plan would have likely worked, but the war caught up to him. As Union troops moved in, Abraham and his sons prepared to abandon the property and evacuate to Tennessee. During their escape, Eli Smith was captured by Union First Sergeant Jack Harrington and Corporal Brooks of the 14th Mounted Infantry. Abraham and the rest of his family were able to evade the other Union troops and escape to Tennessee. From here, the story would have just ended. But I came across another story that told of the fate of Eli Smith, the captured son. That story stated that a letter written September 11th in 1866 was sent to Abraham Smith. By late 1865, the war was over. Life was attempting to pick up and move forward. Abraham, still not knowing what had happened to his son captured during the war, moved back to the plantation with the rest of his family to go on. The story says that when Abraham returned, he found that his cash hidden under the road had been found. About a year later, a letter arrived for Abraham. The letter was quoted as, Kind sir, I am in pain and upon my deathbed. I feel I must diverse my conscience of a burden that has kept constant company with my soul. Shortly after we fought for the salt works there, your son Eli, feared he would be hanged after his capture, made a deal with my first sergeant Jack Harrington to share your fortune with him, an amount of $46,000 in gold and silver coins, $12,000 in jewelry, and several gold watches. In return, your son would be helped to escape to Tennessee. Harrington murdered your son on the pretense that he was escaping. With my help, Harrington moved the cash and hid it in a saltpeter cave about a quarter of a mile distance from the little town church. Harrington was killed in the blast that was used to destroy the entrance to the cave. I took a mini ball at the Battle of Seven Mile Ford and have been unable to travel since. I had planned to return to Saltville and reveal the location of your money to you, but I am dying and want you to know that I took no part in the murder of your son. Respectfully, Corporal Allen E. Brooks, late of the 14th Mounted Infantry Army of the United States, General Stoneman Commanding. Abram searched, but nothing was ever found. With the entrances blown, they would be hard to locate. But looking at the clues combined with modern technology, Treasure Hunter might have a chance. 
if you can find any old maps of the area either before or during the Civil War, locate the location of the little church in Saltville, Virginia. Then try to locate any saltpeter mines within a within a half mile radius. After the war, how many of the mines were still active? If you can find the ones that weren't, it might narrow down your search a bit. This is just one of Virginia's treasure tales amongst many. So get out there. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging it. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Hit that notification button to follow me on YouTube. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging. For even more to explore, check out the